evil Lincoln came out of the wilderness, out of the wilderness, out of the wilderness. Old evil Lincoln came out of the wilderness, down in Illinois. Oh, down in Illinois, oh, down in Illinois. Old Abe Lincoln, he came out of the wilderness, down in Illinois. Campaign song for a grand old man. Whoa, oh, Jeff Davis, now he tore down the government. He tore down the government. He tore down the government. Oh, Jeff Davis, now he tore down the government. Down in the secession land. Secession. Secession. Down in secession land. Down Land. Oh, Jeff Davis, now he tore down the government down in the secession land. Now he'll build up a better one, build up a better one, build up a better one. Old Abe Lincoln, he will build up a better one down in Washington. Oh, down in Washington, down in Washington. Yeah, old Abe Lincoln, now he'll build up a better one down. Abraham Lincoln was a country boy, raised in the farmlands and the frontiers of early America. And he loved music, loved it. He held musicians and singers in high regard and wished he could include himself among them. Actually, he did admit that he was a musician of sorts, played on two instruments. A brand new instrument that actually came into the world in probably the 1820s. We're talking the harmonica. So I'm going to play on a couple of these instruments that Abe Lincoln played on. The other one being this, one of the most ancient of human musical instruments. We now call it the Jew's harp. Here's some songs that Abe might use for courting and just having a good time as he would ride the circuits in early frontier America. been thinking what a fine world this would be if the men were all transported far beyond the northern sea oh my goodness gracious rachel what a queer world this would be if the men were all transported far beyond the northern sea thinking what a gay life girls would lead if there were no men about them none to heed them none to please <laughs> Rachel, 
Rachel, if you'll not transport us, I will take you for my wife. I will split with you my money every payday of my life. <laughs> Yes, Abe Lincoln loved the songs. He loved those beautiful old melodramatic songs. And he loved those scrappy frontier songs. Things like, come to town the other night, heard the noise and I saw the fight. And the watchman, he was running around crying, old Dan Tucker, he's come to town. Out of the way, old Dan Tucker, you're too late to get your supper. Supper is done, breakfast is cooking, and old Dan Tucker just stand there looking. One of his favorite songs, he referred to as the buzzing song, it was actually published by Dan Emmett. The man who brought us another one of Lincoln's favorite songs, Dixie. But he published this song way back in the 1840s. In fact, his first song he ever published, he was 15, 15 years old. The Buzzing Song. That's how Abe would ask Lord Lamb for it. Lord, give me that buzzing song. When I was young, I used to wait upon old master, give him his play, and pass the bottle when he got dry, and brush away the blue tail fly. Jim Crick on the I don't care. Jim Crick on the I don't care. Jim Crick on the I don't care. Old master's gone away. dinner old master sleep he bid his man the vigil keep and when he going to shut his eye he tell me watch the blue tail fly Jim Crick oh no I don't care Jim Crick oh no I don't care Jim Crick oh no I don't care old master's gone away in the afternoon I'd follow after with a hickory broom the pony being rather shy when a bit by the blue tail fly Jim Crick oh no I don't care Jim Crick oh no I don't care Jim Crick oh no I don't care oh master's gone away and when he'd ride around the farm so numerous they did swarm. One chance to bite him on the thigh. Oh, the devil take the blue tail fly. Jim Crick, oh no, I don't care. Jim Crick, oh no, I don't care. Jim Crick, oh no, I don't care. Oh, master's gone away. Well, the pony run, he jumped, he pitched, and he threw my master in the ditch. He died and the jury wondered why. Oh, the verdict was the blue tail fly. Jim Crick, oh no, I don't care. Jim Crick, oh no, I don't care. Jim Crick, oh no, I don't care. Oh, master's gone away. Jim Crick, oh no, I don't care. Jim Crick, oh no, I don't care. Jim Crick, oh no, I don't care. Oh, master's gone away. Simon tree, his epitaph is there to see. Beneath the stone, I'm forced to lie. The victim of the blue tail fly, Jim Crick, oh no, I don't care. Jim Crick, oh no, I don't care. Jim Crick, oh no, I don't care. Oh, master's gone away. You know, I think one of the reasons why this was a favorite song of his. It's, it's good to understand what crack corn is. I learned this from folks up in uh, northern Florida. 
Uh, crack corn is actually, you take corn, hard corn kernels like popcorn kernels, and you crack them with a hammer. Don't pulverize them, you just crack them. You put them in a big glass jar, oh, about a third full, and then you top it off with another third or more of water. Then you take and cover the jar with a piece of paper to keep the flies out and put it out on the porch. So we're talking a summertime operation here. And then you wait. Sometime between three and four days is when you want to get a little bit too early, no good, a little bit after, no good. Catch it just right and you have got corn beer, very potent corn beer, crack corn. See, see, Jim crack corn, I don't care. Now, uh, it's also explained to me that the hickory, the hickory is sort of the toughest wood in the woods, it's also the best material for a broom, even with all of these modern fibers because it lasts so long and it grows into uh, all kinds of fibers at the end of every strand. But one of the problems with hickory is if you get a splinter from it, it's like a bee sting. It can even fester. So you put that together, Jim Crack Corn and I Don't Care, and the hickory stick, what you get is a song about a slave getting away with murdering his master. Now master's dead, let's let him rest. They say all things am for the best. But I'll never forget till the day I die. Oh, master and the blue tail fly. Jim Crickle, no, I don't care. Jim Crickle, no, I don't care. Jim Crickle, no, I don't care. Oh, master's gone away. I've often said that you could touch the soul of a man by knowing the songs he loves. A song almost cost Lincoln his second term as president. What happened was a tremendous, oh, a terrible battle, the Battle of Antietam, the first uh, really invasion of southern forces into the north. Terrible, terrible time. And about four or five days after the battle, because it was right near Washington, D.C., where it happened, Lincoln rode with McClellan and his dear friend Ward Lamon around the battlefields. And Ward Lamon, who'd been with Lincoln most of his life, could tell that his dear friend was starting to slip into one of his dark, dark moods. And he knew that if Lincoln slipped into moods like this, sometimes he he could be gone for a couple days. And Lincoln asked Lamon, he said, Ward, could you sing me that sad little song? And Ward Lamon knew exactly the song that Lincoln was asking for. It was a song that Lincoln loved back when they were riding the circuit, and Lamon always felt it had something to do with that tragic love affair he had with Ann Rutledge, who died so young. So Lamon sang that sad little song. And he saw that Lincoln was taking a nosedive in his moods. So in an attempt to pick him up again, he sang one of those scrappy frontier minstrel songs, actually, in hopes that it might pick him up a little bit. But he only got through less than one verse. But wouldn't you know that there was a reporter that was right nearby just when Lamon started to sing that other silly little song, a song called Jim Along Josie. Now, might have been forgotten, but this reporter went home to London, actually, London Times, and a few years later, Lincoln's running for office again, and the story is written up, and then it swept all over this country about how this baboon of an American president we're singing, we're singing vulgar songs over the graves of our freshly fallen heroes. Lincoln was deeply, deeply troubled by this. Ward Lamon wrote uh, to the newspapers explaining what really happened. And then Lincoln's handlers asked him to write a letter himself. Handlers, that's a modern term, I know. 
So Lincoln did. He wrote a beautiful letter, but then he wouldn't let them publish it because basically he said, if the American people don't know that I'm incapable of something like this, then maybe I don't deserve to be their president. Now the song that he was accused of singing, to give you a verse of it, maybe two verses, goes like this. Now I'm from Louisiana, as you all know, and that's where the Jimalong Jewel sees all the go. And the Louisiana folk all rise when the bell do sing, and this here now's a song that they do sing. Hey, get along, the Jimalong Josie, hey, get along, Jimalong Joe, hey, get along, Jimalong Josie, hey, get along, the Jimalong Joe, hey, get along, the Jimalong Josie, hey, get along, Jimalong Joe, hey, get along, the Jimalong Josie, hey, get along, the Jimalong Joe. Now, the first president we ever had was General Washington, and the one we got now is Martin Van Buren. And although General Washington is long dead, as long as this nation stands, his name shall float ahead. Hey, get along, Jim along, Josie. Hey, get along, Jim along, Joe. Hey, get along, Jim along, Josie. Hey, get along, oh, Jim along, Joe. Hey, get along, oh, Jim along, Josie. Hey, get along, Jim along, Joe. Hey, get along, Jim along, Josie. Hey, get along, Jim along, Joe. But in truth, as I said, that song was never finished. In fact, they didn't really even get through the first verse of it. Yes, you can certainly touch the soul of a man by his music. Here is the song that Lincoln really asked for. And this is a song that was sung. It's called 20 Years Ago. I wandered to the village town I've sat beneath the tree Upon the schoolhouse playing ground That sheltered you and me But none were there to greet me tongue And none were there to know That played with us upon the grass just twenty years ago. Remember, he's riding in a carriage over the four or five day old battlefield of Antium. The river's running just as still, the willows on its side are larger than they were, dear Tom, the stream appears less wide. The grapevine swing is ruined now, where first we played the bowl and swang our sweethearts, pretty girls. Just twenty years ago Close by the spring upon an elm You know I cut your name Your sweethearts then beneath the two And you didn't mind the same Some wretched man has peeled the bark was dying sure but slow just as the ones whose name we cut died twenty years ago my lids have long been dry dear town but tears came to my eyes I thought of her I loved so well those early broken ties I visited the old churchyard I brought some flowers to strew upon the graves of those we loved just twenty years ago some now are in the churchyard lay some sleep beneath the sea. There's little left of our old class excepting you and me. And when our time shall come, dear town, and we are called to go, I hope 
the layers where we play just twenty years ago I hope the layers where we play just twenty years ago touching the heart of a great American president.